guys want to do you guys want to see the campsite the new camp out the new camping the new camping setup okay so the lighting is not going to be all that great but let me fix the audio okay here we are so oh wow look at wow look at this guy so i'm actually super duper excited about this new camping setup because like this is kind of what i wanted right so firstly let me just give you a little bit of context we're here at aj's photography workshop we're at little dumont dunes out here right outside of baker excuse me california and one of the things that i was really excited about going full size is because i wanted things to be simple okay i wanted things to be quick and easy to set up and quick and easy to store i've got a like a long way to go before i get it to where i want it to be but kind of the pinnacle of like the simplification here is the eye camper tent that thing sets up in like two seconds it was incredible um and you know i've got this like arthritic hand that i've been dealing with a lot of people have asked like why do you wear that brace on your hand and i got a thing going on with my thumb and it's a long story and it's best told another day but the long and short of it is that i needed I needed an easier tent to set up and the eye camper serves that purpose. I do still love 230 and CVT. Both of them were, they make good tents. I don't, I don't have any beef with any one of them. So let's, we've done the walk around. You know about all the goodies, but let's go back to the back and just kind of show you the setup because it's super simple. So we've got our trash Blue Ridge over, Overland gear bag right there. And um, so basically I'm going to be, installing some sort of storage in here. I don't know what that storage is gonna be just yet, but it's gonna be maybe a decked drawer system or maybe a bed slide or something. I haven't fully decided yet. I do kind of like the idea of everything being in these boxes and being able to keep the bed just open to use it for whatever. But currently I have six front runner boxes all set up. And so this one right here has got pantry, dry goods, food stuff. The one down below has my um, ARB single like air compressor in a box and airing up and airing down stuff. This one right there has, what does this one have? This one has all my cooking, cooking stuff, okay? And uh, firstly, I should probably note that the whole camp is lit up man that looks so good i'm so glad that these work the way i thought they were going to work these lights are claymore lights and so i was wondering if the the frequency if they were going to do like the led like uh like wavy and they don't look at that even my baja lights in the front that came with the truck they do that but these don't look at that look at the lighting it's like ah oh man i'm so excited i can use these lights for stuff so yeah uh in this front runner box right here i've got all this lighting that i got from claymore i just have a whole box of it and they come in these this i'm gonna have a different video for these after i use them a couple times just so i can make sure i can like know what to tell you but they came in all these like cool you know these cool cases and stuff um and i've just got some of these goal zero lights up here for ambient and then i've got this is my cold weather box right there i used to carry that with me in the trailer and uh currently it has a little buddy heater and a tiny little propane tank i tried to use it last night uh, cause it was pretty cold, but by the time I had it turned on and had it on for like, I'm serious, like five minutes, the tent was so warm that I had to turn it off and I just left it off the rest of the night. I'll show you my, my setup up there that, and, it, and why, how it works or whatever. Okay. So here I've got, um, back in the back, I've got the annex room that came with the eye camper or didn't come with it, but it, I have it with what, what are you? Can, oh, wow. Seriously. Focus. There we are. Uh, anyway, so the eye camper uh, annex, and then those two other boxes back there are tools and something else. I don't remember. But that's like my super simple kind of camp setup right now. And so then I just pull the boxes out and get set up. The These Claymore lights are cool because they've got like little hooks so that you can hang them from places. And then like this one right here, they have the magnets don't come with them but this one has a magnet on it and so it, it's on there pretty good and then this one's got a magnet on the back of it as well that's how it's right there one of the things i like about the eye camper tent is and i'm gonna have a full review of this another time but the eye camper tent it just flips up and then that part just flips out 
and then you're pretty much done. I put the, the pole stay, poles, spring poles, whatever they're called in there. Um, you do need to put the poles in up here to hold that open, but it just sets up so quick and easy. And it's like all so very lightweight and breaking it down like takes just a couple of minutes too. So I, I don't know, I'm beyond excited about that. Oh, here's, here's uh, another little Claymore light so you can kind of see that. All right, let's take a look up inside the tent. Oh, I wanted to show you inside the vehicle. The lighting's probably not gonna be all that great. Okay, so this is like kind of temporary, but right now I literally just have the fridge. I'm gonna crank the ISO up, sorry if it's grainy. I just have the fridge right here. Let me do something. Okay, so right now we've got just the fridge. I, it's just sitting in there. And then I have my front runner chairs right in front. They go right there along with that step stool. And so far, so good. It's just stayed there. And the other thing that this truck comes with, it comes with this platform right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that and you can see the little plastic pieces that are like the legs. And it just flips down and gives you a nice flat surface there. So you don't have to do anything to give yourself a flat surface there. Plus it gives you kind of organized storage underneath. And swinging around to the other side, you can see you can see the fridge uh, over there. And I just have so much space here. It's just super awesome. And I have um, the Goal Zero and my camera bag just sitting right here. And again, I mean, we were kind of rocking and rolling today. I mean, just kind of, let me crank this down. Just there. I mean, we were flying all over the place doing donuts in the dunes and just having a good old time. You can see my storage that I've got down there. And everything stayed in place. Nothing moved. It was actually really great. I may, I may do it like this for a while. I don't know. I, I'm happy that I figured this much out and that it has worked as well as it has because I don't have to feel in a rush to do something else. And eventually I would think I would like to have the fridge in the back. I'm a little apprehensive of doing that because I just don't want to uh, the fridge is just going to get super dusty and dirty and like whatever. Like I, I've heard that that's, it's okay, but still I'm just not super quick to do that. So up here I I have this down, I don't know if it's goose down or some other kind of down. I don't even know if there's other kinds of down. I found this on Amazon. It wasn't super cheap. It was maybe a hundred bucks or maybe 150 bucks. I can link in the description below. Um, I found this on Amazon and the idea behind it is I, I wanted to find like a blanket, like a camping, like down blanket thing, like not necessarily a sleeping bag. Because one of the things I found is that I didn't like wrapping myself up in a sleeping bag. Up in a rooftop tent, you kind of have a bed environment. You don't nearly need to wrap yourself up. Um, and I just wasn't as comfortable. I wanted something more like a blanket. So what I did is for cold weather nights, I've got this just woven blanket material stuff. I don't know if you can kind of see it very well. I'll link this in Amazon too, down below. And then I got and I'll wrap, if it's gonna be really cold, I'll wrap myself up in that, and then I'll just cover myself with both of those things and I stay really, really nice and warm. This thing has this cool thing on the on the feet so that you can see how it's got like a zip up, like pouch pocket thing, and you can just tuck your feet down in there and you can zip up this, this bottom with a, not zip up, but you can squeeze it. You can pull the elastic and it'll, It'll squinch it down like that. So it's really nice to be able to hold your feet in place and keep them warm. Um, this has two pads. This this pad right here will slide over to where the camera's sitting right now, where you guys are sitting right now. And then you have a whole flat padded surface area. Last night I just slept on, had it doubled up and I slept on this pad over here like this because I don't have anybody else with me and why not? Um, that's one thing that I've heard about excuse me, the eye campers is that oftentimes they are, the, the people think like the pad is not thick enough. Um, I could use a little bit thicker pad too, but part of the cool thing is being able to make this down and, you know, compact and as slim and flat as possible is that you can, you're gonna have to maybe sacrifice some of that. Um, some people I know, one of the things they do is they have like this inflatable air mattress pad thing. I, I, I got one. It didn't come in. I'll have to test it later on, but uh, maybe I can link that in the description below. But people say that that actually really augments and helps aid and like helps the comfort. Um, I really like, so you've got this hard shell here and it just, you kind of feel, I don't know, there's something about it. Like you come in here and you feel like it's more secure. 
if that makes any sense. You know, you've got a nice hard surface here. Uh, I know my buddy Scott was saying that if, the, if he knows that it's going to be heavy winds, he'll set this up to where the winds are going to be hitting this right there. And I, I imagine that helps and aid in the noise and flapping. Um, or maybe it makes it worse because it flaps on the side. I don't really know. Um, the downside to the way this, the, the way this thing is set up is because I, I have it pushed forward as close to the cab as possible. I can't put the, the pole, spring pole bar things over there in that window, but um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I couldn't always deploy that in every instance on other past tense. Um, I do have two cross, two windows here that I can leave and have some cross ventilation if I want to. Um, and then if I'm camping on a hot night, I'll get one of those Claymore fans and just blow it in here, you know, over the night, over the overnight. You can open this and vent this too. I think you can, I think this screen goes into a screen too. Yeah, this goes into a screen too, so you can have some more ventilation there and then there's a rain fly on top. So yeah, that's like my super duper simple camp setup. Um, there's not a whole lot to it because this is the first go around. I mean, I literally was like assembling this stuff last minute. But you know, you don't really know until, you don't really know what's gonna work for you until you like just go do and try and like see what works and what doesn't work and kind of what you need, what you don't need. I really like, I actually really like the height of this. It's kind of hard to get up into here because it's so tall you have to really, you know, use a step stool or jump. But I like, I do like how it's waist height. You know what I mean? You can like, it's stand up desk height, uh, which I really like. I'm just so super thrilled right now. I just like, this is perfect for pre prepping food. It's just, I'm really excited. Once again, my name is Jason Kirchie, AKA Mr. Swell Runner. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you become notification squad people and hit the bell. Bing! And we'll see you guys in the next video.